Hey everyone out there in Facebook land, it's Aunt Stacy here with Aunt Stacy's Cats. And I just wanted to check in with you today. I've been wanting to do one of these live videos for a while on my page and I hope to be doing a lot more of them. But today I um, was going through my bookshelf and I came across this video that I have and I really wanted to talk to you guys about it. And if you haven't heard about it before, hopefully this will encourage you to go and check it out. And if you have heard the Paw Project before, then you know what I'm talking about and how awesome it is. So this is the video right here. This is the DVD, The Paw Project. And this is specifically about declawing and why we shouldn't be declawing kitty cats. This was uh, produced, written, and directed by Jennifer Conrad, who is a veterinarian, um, a wonderful veterinarian who on her own just really wanted to make a difference out there in the world and educate people about what it really means to declaw a cat. It is not a simple claw trim. It is not a simple surgery. It actually is very invasive and it changes the entire structure of the kitty cat. Um, there's really just no debate about this. And there will be some who will try to say, oh, you know, they get over it, the cats are fine, my cats were declawed and there was no problem. But research has shown that's just simply not true. There's also another argument of, well, if we don't declaw the cat, then the cat won't have a home. And unfortunately, shelters and rescues and um, the like are full of cats without claws. Unfortunately, declawing a cat creates, can potentially, most likely create other behavior issues, negative behavior issues that we don't want. Cats come with claws. It's part of who they are. And there are wonderful ways that we can work with that. They are supposed to scratch. Cats scratch for exercise. They scratch to leave their mark, to leave a scent, to leave a cue to other cats, to other animals, uh, for their own comfort, to say, this is mine, this belongs to me, and this is my territory, and territory matters. Oh, so what can we do if, we're, if we have a cat with claws who's scratching? There are a lot of behavior modifications that we can put into place. Positive, compassionate behavior modifications, appropriate behavior modifications. We can train kitties to use a scratching post, to scratch appropriately, particularly when we're using rewards. Negative punishment doesn't work with kitty cats, so we can talk a whole lot about behavior modification. But what I really want to talk about today is this DVD. This is not a horrific DVD. I am one of those people, I can't watch the movies and the documentaries that show the horrific images. It just destroys me, and I can't get it out of my head. I know the bad stuff is out there. I'm not ignorant to it, and I want to make a change for it. Uh, I can say with all confidence that this video right here, The Paw Project, was um, easy to watch. It was educational. It was really informative. And so if you want to know more about The Paw Project, please look it up online. Go to pawproject. No, it's just pawproject.org, www.pawproject.org. It, this is an amazing documentary. It's just, um, it's only, it's like just under an hour. So it's, it's a pretty quick watch. And um, I would encourage you to share this with, with your local veterinarians if they don't know about it. Maybe send them the link and encourage them. It's about education. Too often, our veterinarians recommend uh, declaws with other surgeries, spays and neuters and things like that, and uh, that is shifting and that is changing because more veterinarians like Dr. Conrad are coming out and speaking out against this. So please check out this DVD um, if you get a chance. Watch it, go online, and um, find out more about the PAW Project. I can tell you, yes, you can see I have a Band-Aid on my finger because yesterday when I was cutting some fruit, uh, I got distracted and I sliced my fingernail. And it hurts. <laughs> it's been hurting for a couple of days. That is nothing compared to what a kitty cat goes through when we surgically remove their claws. Please, please educate yourself. Educate those that you know. Um, and there are alternatives. If training is difficult, if it's not working, if there really is a valid reason for fear of being scratched or injured, it could be someone who has a blood disorder, it could be a, a young child, there's a wonderful alternative called soft paws, which was also developed by a veterinarian, a different veterinarian. And these are claw caps that, when applied correctly, can be very comfortable and will um, completely eliminate damage that's done from scratching. But they do have to be applied correctly. They have to be the right size. I will include a link in the comments to a video that I made applying soft paws to this amazing cat. 
and a lot of people think that she's sedated in the video. I guarantee you she is not. She's just used to the procedure. And when we make anything that we do for and to kidneys positive and routine, then it just becomes part of life. And um, although they may not love the moment, uh, they definitely enjoy not being yelled at for scratching the furniture. I can guarantee you that. So again, the PAW Project, if you haven't checked it out, a uh, ringing endorsement for this video, for the work that they're doing, and I hope that your kitties have their claws. If they don't, if you've adopted a cat who is declawed, you may have some behavior issues, and I'm happy to help you with that. If you have a kitty and you're considering declawing and you want to know some options, please leave a comment, and I will see what I can do to get you some resources. Thank you so much. I hope you and your kitties have a perfect day. Head bonks, purrs, love, and light to you. And until next time, keep petting those kitties. Have a great day. Bye-bye.